Okay guys, welcome to FTB Academy and today we'll be making the, this uh, Tinker's Contract Furnace you see behind us. So I need clay, gravel, and, and sand. Okay. So clay, gravel. sand and now I can make Groot and now I got Groot learned and now I can put Groot in the furnace come on yeah that's why if you guys see a bunch of different weird stuff in here it's because it's from the different takes you guys will see it see us use them later on during the video during the series and uh, I will, um, later on during the series, I will show you guys how to, cr still the crafting recipes and how to do it, obviously. I was trying to advance in the story and trying to get something that, trying to get it how, how to, I don't know how to explain it, but basically trying to get it where, I don't know. <clears throat> right now our base is kind of trash, but it's kind of just a cave. But I'm going to build the foundry just down in here. We will be moving out within the next episode or two. Damn, I'm in love with this pickaxe. The bleed is a stone pickaxe. Could put an emerald on it. Let's see actually how good it be. Ah, oh, I don't got an another modifier slot. Dang. Okay, well, uh, yeah, and then I believe I can make this. And then learn this. So they want us to make a, at least 18 seared bricks. A seared tank, which is just glass. Your tank is just this. Oh, that's a controller. I need that anyway. And then if I put glass in it, then it becomes a tank. And now, gotta learn that. Learn that. <coughs> okay, so now we need a drain, which is just two down two. A faucet, which is a three casting table okay so the casting table the drain well no the faucet actually and then the drain and I can make the rest into uh into bricks just by doing that and doing that. Oh. Damn, I got shot. Oh, and I left my weapon. Okay. So now let me so let's learn all of this stuff too. I believe I learned everything. I learned the brick ship. Okay, so now let's make our foundry, so. And it gives us seared glass. Yeah. Trucks are smeltery. Okay, so they want us to make a small foundry, but I don't believe I'll be making a small foundry. Because I believe that the I got a materials in new book, don't I? Yes, this is Tinker's contract booked right here. And uh, that's actually what type of pickaxe I'm using here and it was simple to make you just make the parts chest and then you come everything here then you this is how you uh 
repair and modify. This is actually, and then, which one? This is to actually build the parts. This is where you build your, your sharpening kits to keep your pickaxe alive. And then you cut, uh, this is where you upgrade your pickaxe with different attributes. So, I mean, it's, it was, uh, it's actually pretty self-explanatory. If you guys need help, then I can do a step-by-step -step guide, or I'm pretty sure there should be another one up on YouTube somewhere. Okay, so, smeltery. So you can be any size from 3x3 three three to 11x11, 11 11, and any height from minimum of 2. Okay, word. So it got to be at least a 3x3 three three or at least 11x11, 11 11, so. I think I'm going to make it a minus 6, like, roughly this big. Yeah. And who knows, maybe I might just deck this uh cave out and this become our home base. After all, maybe I'll do it on a stream. I've been trying to get sh uh, start streaming more lately. I haven't really, I streamed a few times, but I didn't have any viewers. So if you guys would like to see me deck this out and you guys enjoy the series, just uh comment down below that you want me to start streaming again. And yeah, I'll deck this place out in the stream. Or maybe just start working off on it off camera. So. Or I might uh just start working on it while I'm, um, what's this called? Yeah, just, uh, during time lapses. But I gotta figure out how to get the, uh, I gotta figure out how to get the the replay mod to work with the custom um my bad I'm having a brain fart it's been a long day but the custom mod uh, mod menu main menu mod I gotta figure basically I read I read so there's a uh, two ways I can do it one way would be to actually to, to just remove it just remove the mod and then the other way would be to to, rem to just remove the mod menu or I gotta reconfigure it and basically learn how to configure a mod menu on the fly like that so yeah that's the thing I gotta deal with now I think this is, yeah, this is going to be the front, so I want the controller right here. And this right here is why I love, 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 love that mod. Because, like... This is why I love that mod. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't say I got much, but you can easily come up here and get more. Like, easily. Okay, let me look it up, cuz. Yeah, just go come get a shit ton of this, and then whatever I don't use, I'll just toss back in the table. Yeah, actually, there. That's an that's that mod isn't uh isn't inside of the inside of the tutorial because it's actually not in the mod pack. If you guys don't want me to use it th for the uh for the because this mod got the university version, which is m more advanced mods. If you want me to not use it for that, then let me know. But if you are perfectly fine with me using it, then let me know that too, cause I'm gonna create enjoyable content for you guys.
Okay, and now the roof to the smeltery. I don't think it needs a roof, but I'm gonna put a roof because we big ballin', shot calling. Okay, and then my whole goal was to fill the front up with glass. And then... That, I'm going to have to toss something there so it looks good. And then, like, here, I want to move this out. So that way it's not in the way. I'll terraform all of this, either in the stream or off camera. And then... I only got one of these drains, but I actually want two of these drains. You can just put a faucet here. And then this one will be the casting table right there. But there's another one. Which we also need another faucet. Did I not make it added into the thing? That's weird. Could have sworn I added it. Maybe I forgot to. Who knows? We'll see. Yep, I forgot to add it. So let's clear out a lot of this. Make sure this is added because, okay, it wasn't, which is good now that it is. So basically, I wanted one on each corner with the faucet. And then I think I want two tanks. Let me make sure that this is. I'm pretty sure I got this. Yep, I did. There is a transmutation tablet that lets you transmutate on the fly. But, uh,. Yeah, that's a lot of work. So, tank, so let me hit casting, a casting basin. This is actually what I wanted, which uh, I don't think they had us make in the tutorial, but if you guys have played Tinker's Contract before or even I've looked up a few videos or have watched people play Tinker's Contract. This is, uh, this basically makes you smelt blocks or pour blocks. And then the tanks, I want the two tanks. One right there, one right there. So now this is going to be our setup and then it's going to be all glass above. And suddenly, as you can see, we have a gigantic smeltery. So now that it says create a smeltery, we can actually we can go pour the rest of our stuff into the smeltery. So this is actually how we're going to get to, uh, let me see if I got a bucket. Okay. So I don't got a water bucket, but I got a bucket and I do know where I can get some lava at, but this is actually how we're going to be able to get to mining level cobalt is with a sharpening kit. So they actually want us to upgrade our tool forge, which I can do right now. 
So they want us to use iron blocks, which we have not used yet because we have not been able to duplicate our items yet. But if we do that, then now we know item iron blocks and uh, seared bricks. And three of those. And uh, this is actually, this I actually made off camera, the tool station, which uh, if I had a recipe, it's just a crafting table with a blank pattern, which is some planks and, and some sticks. So that shouldn't be too hard for you guys to get down packed. Like I said, Tinker's Contract is an easy mod to get into. And now we got our tool forge made a block of iron and I'm pretty sure if we want to be bougie with it we could make it out of blocks of diamonds I'm not finna hold you but I'm not I'm, I don't got the guap like that right now I don't know if get this choose a modifier speed modifier or fortune modify quite frankly the next one I want to be I think they just handed me a yeah, some lapis, which is, it would have handed me 60 lapis versus a stack of redstone. Of course, I'm taking the lapis because of the EMC. So that, that would have been hopping in the modifiers if you guys haven't done that yet. Now, this is where I need to get, I need to put gold into there and just make a head. So if you guys don't know how to make head you want to go you just uh to make pattern you put a blank pattern in there which is made of sticks and uh and planks like i showed you guys before <coughs> and i'm pretty sure to make this pit uh this cast you can melt it over Oh, a wooden or a stone one, which is absolutely great. Pretty much any, any, uh, any, uh, any pickaxe head, which I recommend stone. Uh, you need two stone, so. Two cobblestone, which. Oh, there it goes. And then you need two gold. Which, I got some gold in here. I've been trying to save. Which, actually, now that I think about it, do I even got any gold ingots? No, I have not actually made gold ingots, so. Let me just melt down one of them gold. Get gold ingots into our transmutation table. So that way I can still double those ores as much as possible. Because look at one gold is worth 2,000 EMC. That's just not an opportunity I could pass up. So let's get two gold. And this looks great, by the way. Shit. Looks great. So if we toss it in here, as you can see, it starts cooking it on the side and then you pour, put that right there we can give that oh it says no valid fuel in smeltery two thousand years later I think I just figured out a ridiculous absolutely ridiculous uh glitch in the in the system I believe but basically let's get this this is the Philosopher's Stone. We uh, use it to create the philosopher, the transmutation table. I believe I showed that on camera. I don't know if I put it in. But boom. Lava. Put it in a tank. Boom. Lava. Mind you, this is worth 832 EMC, by the way. Right? Which means that we could put this in here, and boom, now we know it. But I'm not going to use it. For cheesy methods like that, because I believe that that would be cheating. 
but I would definitely use it to my advantage and uh not to cheat EMC but to fill up our our uh what's his name our smeltery what uh, our tanks with lava to melt down our items I will definitely do that by the way you guys can have as many tanks as you want in your smeltery but yeah figured I'd show you that little like yeah that's just crazy thought I was gonna have to go to the nether or something nope didn't have to do nothing that's just nuts I was prepping to go to the nether and uh this philosopher stone just pass it back in there it's so cheaty but now we can smelt down our melted gold that we had and uh get our casting head <coughs> so now let's see what they want us to do next under oh the rest is just different stuff over here they have bonsai pots that's going to be crazy Okay, so now I believe it said making obsidian. Yeah, here it is. That's why I'm making obsidian sharpening kit. So So how do you make an obsidian sharpening kit? Subsidian through a sharpening kit. So why do they want? Where do you get an obsidian sharpening kit? Wait, so what do they want us to do for the quest? Oh, I got to make one of each kind. That's trash. Okay, we might as well do it. The free obsidian sharpening kit. I believe it makes us where we can up where we can upgrade our pickaxe even further, but oh my god, this sounds trash. So trash kid. Get this. Basically, yeah, the lava smells it down. If we want, I was thinking about adding more tanks to it, too. More tanks. Because I'm pretty sure you could fill up all the tanks from one tank. Or even the controller. I know you could do it one of the other ways. One of those ways, but I know you could do it one way. Okay, guys. Make this trash ass stone. Uh, I'm about to just toss out anyway. I don't even want that. Give me my obsidian sharpening kit. And uh, yeah, I think that we did pretty good for the vi for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, actually, let me see something if I put in here okay so if I combine with flint so now it's become cobalt so basically it increases the uh, durability is at 628, so it doesn't increase the durability, but it adds fortified. And I'm not too sure if you can still repair with cobblestone, but I combined it with, and now my 
my pickaxe can mine cobalt, which I could not mine in the... M and, of course, I can still mine it with... Uh okay, that was worth it. Yeah, that was worth it. So, this I'm just going to keep in the chest up here. But, that was worth it. Because, uh, actually, when I was mining, I set waypoints to different spots. And the platinum... I could not mine before, but now I can mine. What the? Yeah, as you guys can see, I was strip mining quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, I believe there was another platinum, so this I could remove plat 2 right here. And it seems really rare because it only popped up in two locations. So who knows how much this is actually worth. And I found a ravine too. So. I got a home set to my base. But let's see actually how much this is uh, worth before we close the episode. Oh, I spelt it wrong. I'm slow. Platinum. Platinum is worth 4,000 EMC. And you get that from smelting this. 4,000 EMC. So I'm definitely going to double that and turn that to like, instead of 4, 8,000, it'll be 16,000. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, we got next episode. Hopefully we'll be getting some more stuff done. Thank you guys.